Good local time, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. It is a pleasure to speak with you all today in this at the Plurality Research Network conference. The internet is a jamboree of light, connecting every part of daily life, a place where everyone can share and be, no matter race, gender, status, or degree. But with this freedom, the challenges are great as billions are spent on AI to automate. Anti-social tech and surveillance thrive. Centralized powers grow, autocracies revive. Authoritarians redefine the internet's rules, twisting digital tech to control and to fool. But it is not too late. We can still change course and make the internet a source of discourse. Now, plurality, it is quite a find computational system that are truly kind. The Taiwan model is a breath of fresh air, with tech that foster collaboration, not despair. In 2012, Taiwan's cabinet did state, to promote open data, it was fate. Since then, we've worked to relay showing the people what with open data efficiency can surely grow. For 10 years, Taiwan's open data door has shared 50,000 plus sets and more, High-value data, air, real estate, and trade, electricity supply, all available to be made. For citizens and industries to use and co-create, data.gov.tw really encourages debate. A cross-domain collaboration facilitates app for data activation. Like the Water Refill Map app, it's easy to find. Where to get free drinking water is one of a kind. The CO2 update platform reduces carbon too, and the last platform manages river basins. True, collaboration brings these benefits, it's plain to see, thanks to the open data policy. Last year, Taiwan's Central Weather Bureau announced a project to help citizens apply for high accuracy data and resources. That's a feat. To facilitate the use of these resources, that's neat. The private sector uses creativity and tech to develop cross-disciplinary applications for the best in fields like disaster mitigation, offshore wind power, and more. Thanks to weather open data, that's for sure. Held once a year since 2018, Presidential Hackathon is a public innovation. This year's international track theme is practicing net zero in climate action. BRSDM at Erling Taiwan is one of the top teams from Erling Township and Zhongzhou University. They've established a sustainable model for agricultural waste using biochar pyrolysis and cloud data match platform. They've made haste. Another champ is Tim Benz from India. Their solution analyzes soil and weather data. Reducing labor costs with sensors too. Sustainable urban forests is what we do. Inclusive co-creation is a core value full of cheer. Emerging tech tools spark debate and that's no fear. Because the most important thing is to start with the people. It's key. Crowdsource agenda setting works, you'll see. Now, Web3 is a concept of this new era of plurality. And that's why in July this year, W3C standardized the DID. Taiwan has joined W3C connecting us to the world, helping us to achieve this vision of plurality together. To expand the vision of co-creation, that's great. Our ministry was launched in August. It's a date. Fostering resilience too, and that's what MODA aims to do. Ideathon is a way to think outside the box. Inspired by the hackathon is something that unlocks. A small guest board of entry is a powerful activity. Ideathon spurs innovative thinking. This year's Ideathon theme is We We Futures 2040 Plurality. It's an immersive roadmap that shapes the future together. We invite design concept for 2040, tangible or intangible, space goods, service mechanism, life forms. Through those innovative communication technology platform, we take those good ideas and aim to create social value of more than 300 million US dollars with a focus on universal service. That's our goal.
We encourage innovative communication for a better overall. Public welfare, time-saving service, and streamlining old existing process with social value, that's what we hold. For those with speech hurdles, tech can save the day with sign language via video relay. In stage one, we'll gather proposals for innovative communication services. From the non-governmental and private sectors, it's a chance to express. The 100 selected proposals will receive financial aid, it's true, incentives and guidance measures, technical and application guidance too. One-to-one -one mental is all part of our bigger view. Our financing mechanism, that's something fresh and new. Plural funding considers the square root of each soul. Then it's squared again. It's an exciting concept, not in any way draw. Participants are willing to contribute. It's part of the deal. The number of participants just as important as the funds they reveal. The government provides funds proportionally. Plural funding verifies public support. It builds legitimacy. This April, I have signed a pledge, and that's clear. With 16 nations reps, all free from fear. A declaration for the future is true, for the internet's future, for me and you. The declaration looks at the net's connections, its distributed structures with no exceptions. We promise to uphold human rights and foster trust and freedom in online life. The mode I use is interplanetary file system, we know. A decentralized solution, don't you know? So share your computers, learn some connectivity, and help defeat censorship easily. All other agencies can use our website's design, saving money and strengthening resilience in no time. The mode I leads by example, and that is clear, showing our approach is practical and all can hear. We encourage all to adopt our way, you see. CC0 waives copyright. Our materials are free. And free the future is the mode as called to all. For Taiwan's fellow democracies, we stand tall. And this is what plurality looks like, you can see. Not just for politics or government, that's not to be. The internet wasn't just for military and research, no. But it's a new tech paradigm, so let it grow. It can transform every sector, every life. If we learn to harness it, let's end the strife. The web, just like Sir Tim Berners-Lee said, connects people, not just machines, and let it spread. And this is the Taiwan model we wish to share with a world that show them, let's be aware. So I'd like to end with a poem you see. It's the vision we're heading to, don't you agree? When we see Internet of Things, how to make an Internet of Beings. When we see virtual reality, how to make a shared reality. When we see machine learning, how to make collaborative learning. When we see user experience, how to make a human experience. And when we hear the singularity is near, let us always remember the plurality is here. And don't surrender. Live long and prosper.